Hey friends, Pastor Russell here. Hey, I wanted to bring you an important update about our Seattle campus today. Yeah, we are blown away by all that God continues to do here at Pursuit. It just a few weeks ago was incredible. It, we were joined by a thousand people from all across this region it, to celebrate the great things that God has done. It, already we've seen miracles. Already we've seen salvations. This is just the beginning of what God will do in this region. And I so solemnly believe the Emerald City will shine again. In the midst of this miracle, there has been an unprecedented level of resistance unlike anything I have ever seen before. We've had bricks thrown through our windows. Other windows of ours have been shot out. Signage has been destroyed. Death threats have been made. And our employees have been doxxed. And that brings us to this moment now. Starting last week, our church began to receive anonymous packages in the mail with threatening letters promising to harm us unless we shut our doors. I have said it before and I will say it again. We ain't canceling church. We will not close our doors. We will not stop gathering people to worship. We will not cower in fear and we will not be intimidated by the demonic strongholds in this city. I've got letters in my hand that say this church will fail. I've received letters saying that this building will collapse and our pastors will die. I've got voicemails on our phone cursing this church for just being bold enough to try. And here is my my question for the people of God, what say you? The world says this is impossible, but what say you? The enemy says give up, but what say you? The forces of darkness say the church should turn around and run, but what say you? Friend, every time they curse us, we grow. Every time they protest us, another prodigal comes back home. Every time they threaten us, God gives us increase. No, there is nothing of value birthed in the earth without struggle, but I am inviting you today. Join me in this great mission. Come be a co-laborer in this great field, and together let's watch God revive a city. Let's see God restore our dreams, and let's believe that God will vindicate us again without pouring. I'll be here every Sunday night at 6 p.m. Friend, tell everyone you know. Invite everyone that you can find. It's revival time in the Northwest, and we will live to see the goodness of our God in the land of the living.